How do you deal with questions? The first thing you need to remember, and possibly the most important thing you need to remember, is that you are in control. This is your presentation. So don't let audience members take over. You never know when somebody in the audience may have his or her hidden agenda. Now, if somebody does try to take over, what you need to do is be very skillful in the way that you answer. What you must not do is directly challenge them. Because if you do, the audience will naturally side with them. What you need to do is you need to alienate them and you need to make the audience feel that that person is wasting the rest of their time and then they will naturally side with you. Now there are ways in which you can do this and ways in which you use language to do this. But other things you need to remember when thinking about questions in a presentation. You need to manage your audience's expectations. Tell them when they can ask questions. You might be quite happy to be interrupted halfway through your presentation with a question. If you are, tell people. Or you can tell people that you'll take questions right at the end. And by the way, this allows you the opportunity to deal with people who want to interrupt you by saying that you're going to deal with questions at the end. But always remember, you are in control. If somebody asks you a question about something you know you're going to talk about a little bit later on, there's nothing wrong with dealing with that question at the moment. That demonstrates that you are confident and that you are in control of your material and in control of your audience. And just one or two other things to remember about questions. Always make sure that you repeat people's questions because what can often happen in a conference, for example, is that you'll be on a microphone but the questioner may not be. There's no point answering a question that the rest of the audience can't hear. And by the way, that also buys you time and clarifies to the questioner that you have heard exactly what they are asking of you. So questions need not be some big beast in the room that terrify you. In fact, questions are very, very effective when it comes to engaging an audience and creating that bond with an audience and demonstrating that you know what you're talking about. One final point. If you actually don't know the answer to a question, as long as you're not meant to know the answer, it is perfectly okay to say to an audience member, I don't know the answer, but I will find out for you and I will get back to you on that. For more information on this topic and others, please do visit www.deberggroup.com. Thank you for watching.